All right, hello guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to the third episode of using every single gun in the game for 100 kills. So I'm sorry for the delay on this. I kind of wanted this to be out sooner, but I mean, uh, I just got really lazy to be honest. So my bad on that. But yeah, so if you haven't joined us for the first two episodes, basically we've just finished going through all the assault rifles and today we're gonna be looking at the battle rifles. And because there's only eight, I can do all of them in this video, which is good because I had to split the assault rifles into two parts. But yeah, so the battle rifles uh, were a lot different than the assault rifles for sure. I'm really not too much of a fan of battle rifles and um, yeah, I definitely think I prefer the assault rifles But yeah, so they basically just felt like you know more powerful assault rifles with a lot more recoil and a little bit less bullets I think that most of the battle rifles only have 20 bullets in the mag some less It's really not too much I was running out of ammo all the time and it just was really hard for me to get used to it But I did enjoy some of these like some of these I really enjoyed actually and um, I discovered some guns that I never would have even like taken a glance at before so so I'm really glad I did this. But yeah, anyways, uh, without further ado, let me get right into the first gun. All right, so the first gun that we're going to be looking at is the Beowulf ECR. So I had about 476 kills with this when I started out, so really not too much. And so I used two different setups on this uh, Reflex Sight, Compensator, Stubby Grip, Green Laser, and then I use it with and without the 5.56 conversion. So yeah, I started with this gun without the conversion, so this gun actually only has 10 bullets in the mag. So you do run out of ammo very, very quickly. It's got a pretty decent fire rate. It's literally a two shot to the limb at close range, so it's definitely a close range heavy gun. You're never gonna want to use this at long range. Trust me. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't do that anyways But yeah, so considering I don't use this gun very often It was very hard to adjust to this gun because no other guns are actually like that as far as I'm aware But like when you actually get going with it, it kind of shreds I'm not gonna lie. You are reloading constantly though That's kind of the one thing I would say but other than that It was really really fun to use and I actually enjoyed it quite a lot And then I slapped on the 5.56 conversion after that and people have been telling me this is basically just makes it like an m 4 one but better and i guess this is maybe because it has well a tad bit more fire rate and it does like a five shot at range instead of a six shot and it also does have better damage ranges than the m4a1 as well so i definitely get where people are coming from and for some reason like the recoil felt accurate but i was just really bad at it so i'm not really too sure why it just felt kind of like abrupt i really don't think i'll be able to describe what i'm talking about but yeah i felt like the recoil was a bit harsh for me to handle but that's pretty much it i mean other than that I had a lot of fun with this. I think it shreds, honestly. And I mean, yeah, it's totally worth a shot if you want to give it a go. I'm going to rate this as probably a 7 out of 10 on the fun scale. Could have been better, could have been better, but I did enjoy it overall. Okay, so the next gun is going to be the Scar H. So I started with 859 kills with this, and that's actually quite a bit. I've always been fond of the Scars. However, I do think the Scar H is one of my least used Scars. So yeah, anyways, the setup I used for the Scar H was the Reflex Sight, Long Barrel, Folding Grip, and Green Laser. So the Scar H, everyone's going to tell you that this thing is insane. Like I've been told repeatedly that the Scar H is like one of the better guns in the game, especially I would say at medium range because, well, you know, the fire rate isn't exactly ideal for close range it's only 600 rpm and i kind of felt like the recoil was a little bit much so it's got a lot of camera recoil that's kind of why you put on the folding grip but i mean at medium range it, it was really good i'm not gonna lie i really enjoyed it and i didn't think i would enjoy it as much as i did considering it's kind of slow uh but yeah like the damage is really good it does 42 to 29 damage so you know up to like man i don't know it's past 100 studs at least you get a three shot which is actually very good and the one downside i would say to this gun besides kind of a slowish fire rate would be the 20 bullets in the mag. I didn't really enjoy that too much. I was running out of ammo kind of constantly, but other than that, I thought it was really good. And in terms of fun, I would probably give this a, I would say 8.5 out of 10. So yeah, that was a Scar H. Okay, so the next gun is the AK-12BR. So I started with not a lot of kills on this, actually only 145, so pretty inexperienced with this. And the setup I used on this was just a reflex sight, muzzle brake, stubby grip, and green laser. So I've actually been told this gun is actually quite underrated. I just said actually twice, why do I do this? Anyways, so the thing with the AK-12BR, I think a lot of people think it's really good because it has a burst mode, which, you know, all it does is give you like more fire rate. It goes from, you know, 700 RPM 
them on the auto firing mode to 1000 on the burst but of course i cannot burst guns for my life so i did not use the burst i just went with the auto and 700 is it's not the best but it's good enough for me considering how little recoil it has and how good the damage is and damage ranges are pretty good as well it's you know it's a four shot at all ranges as well and it's a three shot up to a pretty good range probably around 100 studs so i definitely did enjoy this um i don't see a lot of people using this gun so i think it definitely deserves more attention i mean just look at the amount of kills i had i had only 145 on this so clearly no one actually even talks about this gun but i'm sure this gun is recognized by a couple people here and there but overall i think it's kind of under the radar and maybe that'll change in the future who knows but yeah anyways i did really enjoy this gun uh especially considering the recoil i loved handling the recoil it was so easy and um yeah in terms of fun i would give this probably a nine all right, so the next gun is the G3, and uh, I only had 365 kills with this, so clearly I have not used it enough. And for my setup, I had a comp aim point, a compensator, an angled grip, and a green laser. So yeah, this gun was very confusing to me in a really good way, actually. You'll you'll find out in a second, but like when I first tried this gun, okay, I thought, oh my god, this recoil is ridiculous. Like when you actually try out the recoil, you see how much it bounces all over the place. It's really just strange, and it doesn't look like it's gonna be. Be accurate at all in addition to that as well it has a pretty slow fire rate only 580 rpm and the damage isn't really impressive considering the other battle rifles like the scar h does more damage well like close range at least but it doesn't really jump out to you as like something that you just immediately need to try but as i got into it dude it, it was so weird because the recoil although being like really all over the place didn't even feel like that as i was shooting it like like to your eyes it has a lot of recoil but when you're actually playing with it it doesn't like it's so weird i don't know how to describe this it just felt accurate for whatever reason it doesn't even make sense to me it was honestly like the funnest gun i've used in a while and i can't put my finger on it i just don't I don't get it like every time I shot it looked like it was going all over the place but it just kept studying in the middle and I just kept actually getting kills and um for that reason guys I'm gonna give this probably a 10 out of 10 on the fun scale I just I didn't expect to enjoy this so much I'm 100% gonna be using this in the future and the only thing I didn't like about it was the 20 bullets and even then it didn't phase me because the the fire rate's kind of low so yeah it was honestly just an experience that I didn't expect uh but I'm glad that I was able to use this gun and just actually like realize how how fun it was to use All right, so moving on to the next gun is gonna be the AG3. So I started with about 541 kills on this, pretty average, you know, and for my setup, I had the reflex sight, muzzle brake, stubby grip, and green laser, that was it. And uh, yeah, this gun on paper looks very, very good. It has 45 damage to 35, so it can almost two shot to the torso. It has a 1.1 times torso multiplier, so it does like 99 damage with two hits to the torso. So it does have really good damage. Obviously the fire rate is a little bit lower, but you know, it's a three, hit all ranges and the recoil i mean it's kind of what you'd expect of a normal battle rifle it wasn't the worst um definitely not the worst at all for considering like the damage it has honestly if i were to describe this gun i would call it just an auto dmr like that's kind of how it felt to me just because of how you know how powerful it was but you know for some reason i don't think i enjoyed it as much as the g3 for i don't i don't even know why like it seems like it should be better but i just didn't enjoy it as much so for that reason i'm probably gonna give it only like a seven out of ten on the fun scale i think it was i think it was relatively good however it just was kind of boring but yeah that was the ag3 all right, moving on to the next gun, the HK417, a gun that I only had 22 kills on to start out. So um, I didn't have too much experience with this, I guess you could say. And so for the setup, I had a mini sight compensator folding grip and then the full stock. I've heard it's really good. Like I heard this gun is really, really good. However, it just felt kind of like, eh, I'm not too sure why. It just kind of seems a little bit average. Like sure, the gun's good. Like it has really good damage. The fire rate is actually, you know, it's okay for a battle rifle. And then damage ranges are obviously not too bad. It just felt like a typical battle rifle but i will also say the recoil was a bit manageable but overall in terms of just having fun with this i felt like it was kind of just a gun that you would use to do well rather than you know just have fun on the game so uh it felt more like a comp gun rather than you know just uh, have fun with whatever gun so for that reason i'm probably only gonna give it like a six on the fun scale but guys i just want to remind you these are all my opinions so just don't just, like don't freak out on me okay please um in fact leave your opinions in the comments thanks okay 
All right, anyways, that was the HK417. The next gun is the Henry. Man, okay, I started out with a lot of kills on the Henry, in fact. Uh, I had pretty much 2,033, so that's a lot uh, compared to my other guns, and the only thing I used on this was a VCOG, and I took that off later, so you really don't need any attachments. You could actually go with a laser, or I really don't actually know. I've heard the 410 conversion is good, which kind of makes it into a shotgun, but I kind of just wanted to use the original Henry. I didn't want to use a shotgun today. After all, this is battle rifles so um yeah with the henry i thought you know obviously if you haven't used the henry it's kind of like a it's it's a mix between a sniper and kind of a carbine is kind of what i would say i don't know why it's a battle rifle to be honest but yeah so it does have a pretty good one shot to the torso range it's kind of like uh it's kind of like the svds you know it's indeed pretty fast you know for for something so sniper like so 80 stud one shot torso that is very nice uh one shot headshot all ranges the thing that i don't like about the henry is the muzzle velocity so if we're treating it as a sniper it only has 1800 muzzle velocity which is pretty much it's terrible like you're gonna have so much bullet drop and it, it's really hard to hit headshots and for some reason i was getting a ton of hit markers with this like i was hitting some body shots but i wasn't getting the one shot too often and i was overall just getting very frustrated because well with the very slow muzzle velocity it's just it's hard to hit your headshots and when you're kind of like at long range it does make it a little bit difficult because you can't really rely on a one shot to the torso or ranges i mean obviously that would be very broken of course but yeah, in using this gun, it felt just like an SVDS, except worse, you know? It's a little bit faster, but the reload is terribly slow. Terrible muzzle velocity as well compared to the SVDS. And only five bullets in the mag, so if if I were to compare this and like the SVDS or even the Mosin, I would probably go with either of the actual snipers. Maybe it was just me at the moment because you kind of need some really good aim for this. And I guess that wasn't really my day when I was using it, but um, I have had fun with it before, which is why I have like 2,000 kills with it. So I'm still gonna be a little bit generous on the fun scale i'd say probably an eight out of ten but yeah that was the henry overall uh i mean at the very least it's unique all right, so for the final gun, we have the FAL-50, and yeah, so I only had 195 kills with this, so under 200, it's very not that much. And for the setup, I actually used the same setup the entire time, which I kind of regret, but I had the Reflex Sight, Compensator, Folding Grip, Green Laser, and then the .45 conversion. And the thing about the .45 conversion is that it makes it a lot more like an SMG-ish, or kind of like a carbine, or like... I don't know, it just, it kind of like defeats the purpose of it being a battle rifle because, well, you get a lot more bullets and I think the recoil is a little bit better, but it actually makes this gun very good. You have a three shot all the way up to, I'm not really sure, it's probably around like 80 studs, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, can't do the math right now, I just don't want to, but you also get 50 bullets in the mag, so that's a little bit crazy, so I would say at medium range, this gun does very, very well, like it does very well. I don't think it'd be the best idea to use it at close range because it only has 700 fire rate so you're going to be pretty much beat by any smg you know assault rifle it doesn't have a two shot so it's not really worth using at close range in my opinion however given the 50 bullets i think it's totally usable at medium range if not really good and um yeah overall i think uh i kind of enjoyed it but not really like it was just it wasn't my thing i don't know why i'm not denying it. it was very good though i'm not really too sure why i didn't have as much fun with this i did have a little bit of struggling with the recoil towards the end so maybe that's why but yeah i'll give it probably a 6.5 out of 10 on the fun scale but yeah anyways uh that's the final gun in this list and that's gonna wrap up the video for today so overall it was a very very interesting experience a lot different than the assault rifles and as you saw i had very minimal kills on most of these so very refreshing experience for sure and i would say the g3 is like the main takeaway from this video i totally love that gun and it, it just surprised me you know it really surprised me also the scar h i would probably confirm it's very good but yeah anyways so that's gonna be it for today's video i do look forward to seeing you guys in the next video i'll try Try to get it out more timely because it's been almost three weeks at this point since the last episode so yeah like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next episode